out of a perfect year, we had one problem, sadly, specific to saint Emilion and to some parts of the entre de mer we had a very serious storm on May 13. May 13. It was a, a hell storm, uh, which damaged the east side of saint Emilion and some parts here and there. there those were big storms. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that was a very big storm. Mm -hmm. uh, so some winds on the east side of saint Emilion were damaged and it was not their fault. And but for instance, one which admits it uh, very officially is Philippe Casteja at Trotteville. The summer was <coughs> perfect for everybody. I mean, maybe a sprinkle here or there, but no difference, which means that by uh, September 1st, everybody was equal, uh, except those poor guys who had the hell storm, but uh, mm -hmm. that's still not significant on the scale of Bordeaux. And everybody was expecting, honestly, a great vintage. For some reason, the maturation was slower than we would have expected, uh, which, which is surprising with the beautiful weather we had. But it, it was a, we had a longer hanging time, which may explain the exceptional quality, than usual. For many small chateaux, I don't think there were, there may have been a few of them in the Cercle de Rivroite, I don't know the, the list. Many small chateaux, I speak mostly of the basic Bordeaux, due to the crisis, which is very, very, very severe at, at the basic level. I mean, people cannot make a living in the vineyards in Bordeaux today, many people. So, probably, I say probably, uh, many people were kind of discouraged, you know, and, and they could not take the, the, the proper care of their vineyards, even in an easy vintage. So that it is sure the Bordeaux level, and we are wine merchants, you know, we produce that Merlot for the US, so, which means I have bought over the uh, millions of liters of uh, Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. right. And sometimes I will find a very good chateau, a very good one. I speak of a basic uh, Castillon or thing like that. And then next door, the one is disastrous. And I, I don't have the proper explanation. I have sent a young trainee we, we have to ask the, the growers. So they said, what did you do special? Did you make a special effort? Did you abandon your vineyard? When did you pick? Mm -hmm. uh, so you like a perfect answer. I don't have it myself, except that due to the circumstances, some people, I speak again of the basic Bordeaux, some mm -hmm. people uh, were discouraged. You know, when you cannot sell your wine mm -hmm. from the previous vintage, mm -hmm. it's difficult to make a big effort uh, for the coming vintage. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the old people, they have done that all their life, they know that there are periods, but the young people, they say, hey, you know, the, the, I think some vineyards were probably neglected and they did not achieve what they should have achieved. So was it a question of, of money as well? It's a question of money. Being able to, to, to provide yeah, a, a I mean, it was money. I mean, to, to, <coughs> to plug the, the, the leaves, to, to get better yeah. aeration before the harvest. Uh, I mean, that's a tentative explanation, mm -hmm. honestly. Uh, we know that, and I have been driving uh, around during the summer, some vineyards were, were poorly cared, let's put it that way, and some vineyards were normally cared. So the normally cared vineyard ended with very good wines, e even in small appellations. Mm -hmm. very, very, they should be on the top vintage. 